You're my husband, but you're not my body. You don't tell me what to do with it. In December 2007, Katie travelled to Los Angeles on a cosmetic quest to perfect her image. People buy designer clothes. I want to buy a designer body. I want to look good naked. However, since going under the knife, Kate's experienced various complications. I need all new veneers again. Her new breasts still haven't healed and she's struggling to eat because her teeth are so sensitive. All I want to do is have steak and chips and just chew my food. I can only have things that soft. It's really doing my head in. So there's only one thing to do. It's time to jet back to La La Land and get the surgery sorted. Bring it on. start. In a few hours, Kate and Pete are due to fly first class to LA. Being chauffeur driven to and from the airport is part of the first class experience and their cars have arrived on time. I want to pack all my personals, got showered and dressed, and I'm only 10 minutes late from when we said we were going to leave. Love it. While Junior helps with the luggage, Katie and Peter have to sign legal documents because they're suing a Sunday newspaper for libel over an article about their parenting skills. The newspaper denies their complaint. Before I'm off to America, I'm signing so everyone knows these are the News of the World forms to prove we are suing them. They've been stamped from the court. These are what we're signing and people don't normally go ahead and actually sue. In one week's time, Junior and Harvey will be jetting off to sunny Florida to meet up with Katie, Peter and Princess. And then I'll see you in a couple right. of days, OK? I'm going to look at this every night. Harvey's gone, I didn't get to see him at all. They're running behind schedule, so the couple hit the road. And it seems that when they're bored, even celebrities like to play at being famous. Hi, my name's Katie Price. And I'm from Brighton. What's Hi, your name? Hey, how you going? I'm Peter. I'm from Australia. You're not from Australia, you're from England. Yeah, but for this, I'm from Australia. So, yeah, how you going, mate? Just be normal. I can't be normal. This isn't a normal situation. Just pretend I'm, I'm talking fine. to a flipping makeup brush. No, actually, what I'm going to do oh. is just pretend I'm, we're not married for a minute and I'm a girl and I'm just interviewing okay. you. Okay. As you are now, okay, today, the century. Right. Hi, welcome to the show. We've got a massive guest on the show tonight. He's very sexy. You ladies will love him, and his name's Mr. Peter Andre. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. What are you up to now? I'm doing lots of bits and pieces, actually, but I have to say, and I'm not just saying this, but you, you're pretty good at presenting, and you're very attractive. Oh, I don't think Katie would like that if she's watching, do you? But isn't your name Katie? Peter, do you not understand what I'm trying to do? No. I've you interview before. me then. No. Today, we have got an absolutely fantabulous, scrumptious, ridiculously gorgeous woman on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katie Price! How you going? Um, I'm, my name's not Katie Price, it's Cassandra. Although I did meet Katie Price in the green room. So how are you, Cassandra? Sorry, I'll get mixed up with our guests. I don't know how you can compare me to Katie Price. Katie Price has got fake tits, fake nose tits and whatever. Quite incredibly beautiful too, eh? What do you reckon about that? Anyway, I guess the point I'm trying to make is people don't really know who the real Cassandra is. Now, I don't know who the real Cassandra is, but does Cassandra know who the real Cassandra is? Tell us about you. Okay, shut up, give me my brush. You rubbish. It's game over as Kate and Pete arrive at the swanky private entrance to the first class check-in. Hiya, Abby. Hello. How are you doing? Do you want to switch seat on the right-hand side? Yeah, that's 
outside then. No, and everything electrical has been used before, and um, no one's asked before. us to carry anything for them, and we've packed them all ourselves, and yes, that's it. Do you have any um, sharp items or liquids over 100 millilitres? On that well, package? I've got this. Okay. Baby milk. Oh, baby milk is fine. That's it. That's not 100 millilitres, so that's should. So should we go through? Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant. The couple are escorted through to the luxurious lounge, the perfect place to prepare yourself for an 11-hour flight to America. Love this lounge. The management team have arrived early enough to enjoy the complimentary breakfast, but in true Kate and Pete fashion, they've left it till the last minute. And can I have one of them banana down, milkshake things you have? Can I do it quickly? Because they said they're going to take the show in five minutes. I think Given. your party is almost the last passenger. Okay, I'll, won't, I'll, I'll wait till I'm on board. I'll wait till I'm on board. No, no, I'm fine, obviously. No, 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 it's fine. Do you want some of the seconds? Yeah. Yeah. We can do the breakfast. We haven't got time. There's no way they're going to miss this flight. Kate's been struggling with the results of her surgery for the last five months, and now she's got one week to put everything right. Coming up, Kate gives us way too much information. I have to put a nappy on. Hey? I have to put a nappy on. What? Peter gets to grips with the American security systems. Oh, come on. This is pissing me off. And has the moment arrived that long-suffering Pete's been waiting for? Nicky. It's late afternoon in Los Angeles, and Katie and Peter's flight has arrived safely. However, the VIP treatment stops here, and the celebrity couple are public property once again. We're Get right ready for the madness, LA. right? In about. There's no one here. Shut up, in about five, three, 15 seconds. Get ready for the madness. <laughs> was a bit weird because I was holding baby, didn't know where we were going. I just got a little bit mad then. Right, um, so they're getting into this car. If she is, we need to get the Louis Vuitton bag yeah. and the Gucci Wait, 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 Kate, please, I can't, I can't concentrate. Sorry, say that again, Claire, please. No, hang, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Claire, wait, wait, please. What? Just saying. Yeah, I know, but I can't hear two people at once. Okay, because it's got all her baby stuff bottles. You don't want to be going to the dentist without getting them out of right. that suit. So, what were you saying, Claire, please? Can we just pull over, please, anywhere here? You guys sort it out. I can't. Claire, you might as well just get in here I'm now. Because then I could go straight to the dentist because I'm so late, I'm going to be. Kate's got one week to fit in all her cosmetic work, and even though she's just stepped off a long haul flight, her first appointment's booked in five minutes. How long away, how far away do you think now, please, Caesar? It's like 45 minutes at this point. What would, the, what would you do if you says you can't do it then? Um, hello, is Dr. Medalli there, please? We're not being followed then. Or... Um, no, it's Claire, her manager. Hi. Fine, thank you. We are on our way to you. Um, we've just, we think we're going to be about 30 minutes. Is that going to be a major problem? Thank you very much. We were panicking that um, Kate's so in need of getting I her teeth really done. I can really tell the Lizzie because I need it slow again. So, okay then. Thank you very much. Good okay then. Bye bye. I'm not going to tell him that because he most probably already knows that you want it slow. He laughed at me last. Yeah. I'm going to get him to do it dead. So I'll probably cry when they're going to need him. Shh. But I have to put a nappy on. Hey? I have to put a nappy on. Why? Because I've been put to sleep. 
so I don't go all over my clothes. <laughs> I mean, Hold on a minute, do you wee I yourself swear, when you have an I never, aesthetic? mine was dry as a bone, but yeah, you can go to look because your body's just... And that's what I remember the guy said, he said, I'm sorry, but can you go and put this nappy on? It was like the size of Harvey's. I know where it is. I'm Mr. Uh, J and H. It's here, it's here. <laughs> it's common for patients to experience sensitive teeth for up to two weeks after veneers are fitted. However, for some unknown reason, Katie's been suffering for months, which is rare. It's been decided that the whole procedure has to be done again, and Kate has requested to be sedated. I need one like that. Like that also hurts? Only on then. Let's see, which exactly is coming from where to where? Today, the old veneers will be replaced yeah. with temporary ones whilst a new permanent set is moulded. Yeah. Oh, I can't bear any. But don't put the stuff in yet, so I want you to do that really slow. <laughs> you ready? Okay. You put nothing in to make me feel sleepy yet, no yeah. good. Because I love that's my I love uh -huh. that so honestly on this program, uh -huh. all I talk about is how much I love being put to sleep. Well, a lot of people I'm like mad. It. You were very good. I'm going to start giving you a little bit of medicine, but it's going to be very gradual. You're going to be very relaxed. That's what she wants. I hate seeing her put to sleep, but I know that... Yeah, you hate it? I hate seeing her being put to sleep. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> I feel... Very relaxed, huh? I'm feeling... I'm, this is the bit. Look how I have. Can I have a kiss for it? Be careful, okay? I feel like hurting. <laughs> sit back there for just a sec. I'm going to stick around you. I'm going to fight it because I'm going to see how long I can fight You're it gonna, for. I have, everyone tries to beat you, but they never win. But now, you're all here. I'm talking crap. I love it. You'll be asleep before you know it. How do you know that I'm going? Am I slow? <laughs> Bring it on. We're hanging. All right. Should we put a little bit more potion in? It's coming. I just increased it a little bit. How long am I talking? Let me just sit you back just a little bit, okay, baby? We see this number here? Yeah. She started at 95, now she's at 85. When that drops, she'll be, when it drops to about 70, she'll be asleep. She's asleep. She's gone. She'll be back in a couple of hours. 
It's been three hours since Katie was sedated, and having taken Princess back home to bed, Peter's returned to collect his wife. Oh, come on. Press and release to view directory. This is pissing me off. Right. Locate the desired name and enter the directory code. Bollocks. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? It's Rocky Bo Hi, um, it's Peter for my wife, Katie. Rocky Bob Bo. I'm here to pick up my wife. We're going here after Romelli's office. Yes, hello. I, I need to be buzzed in to pick up my wife, but the doors won't open. I'm their answering service. If you like, I'll page someone to call you. Uh, no, I'm, I'm at the front door. The lady just asked me if I want to be buzzed in. I said, yeah, but the yeah, door's... If it doesn't work, there's not much we could do. This is the answering service. Are you serious? What do I do? You leave your name and number, and I page them, and they contact you. Or they Dude, I've got an English number. I don't think they're going to want to call England. If you like, I'll let the office know you're waiting downstairs. Thank you. Your name? Peter. Peter, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. How is she? Did she she got the temporaries in now? She got the temporary, she got the implant. Everything is set. Oh good. Baby. Even ages. It takes a long time to get here. My mouth is so numb. <laughs> Give me a yeah. look at them. Temporaries. They look good. Oh, she, oh, she looks good. Is in one piece. I'm knackered, absolute knackered. So I'm just gonna put a little pressure on here, okay? Yeah. Just bend your arm up for me. That's a piece out, just bend it. There's no needle. Oh, wicked. <coughs> How are you feeling? Are you okay? I'll be alright. I'll be ready to party. Yeah, I, said, really I thought you'd say something like that. You gotta take her out tonight. Oh, she can go out all on her own. No, if anyone not wants to, if anyone wants to take her out, they've got my blessing. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you very you much. Very much. Thank take you. care. You too. Take bye bye. Keep her by the arm there. Okay? Yeah. I will. I'll be okay. Oh, it's the fancy we're in the jungle. This is weird, I don't know. I'm home, I'm not with it. Oh. Well, then, do you want to hold on to me? Mm. ugly guys <clears throat> but I just woken up from anesthetic and my mouth is numb look <laughs> you're a plot hey Peter you know I'm really sorry to say this now I don't I look ugly oh. no oh no what you look like Pete Burns I'm not saying he's ugly or good looking or anything I'm do you just... know what this look nothing oh man that's painful to look at dude honestly oh the aching oh so how long baby how long baby been to sleep about an hour and a 
and a half, two hours now. She loves me. She does love you. You've done it really slow. Next time on, on Friday or whenever it is Thursday, I want to feel it go up my arm. You worry me, you do. Why? Because you're not normal. Hold on, it's taken you all these years to realise that I need a wee. The UK's eight hours behind LA and Pete's body clock has submitted to the jet lag, but Katie's soldiering on, sedation and all. It's late and everyone's in bed, except for manager Neville, who's been waiting for their return. Coming up, Peter's new hairstyle has unexpected results. Excuse the pun, but a certain stiffness about him. Kate received some bad news from home. There's someone talking, whether they've got it right or wrong, there's someone talking, trying to give information out. And what's Peter done now? 